welcome to our series of videos on how to earn a spot fire. The question today is how to calculate net present value or NPV in a spot fire. Net present value is a financial function that is calculated for an investment and it represents the present value of the investment minus the amount of money that it costs to buy in. There are many, way, many ways this can be accomplished in a spot fire, but today I want to highlight the use of their expressions functions as aggregations, which is a new feature that we have in Spotfire 7.7. This document is available for you to explore. Today, we're going to focus on the tear expressions functions as aggregations. So this is saying data functions that call the typical enterprise runtime for our engine can now be configured to aggregate data. So what this means is that we can actually use the already working functions from the R community and just call it from a custom expression within a Spotfire visualization. The advantage here is that this aggregation is going to happen automatically for you without you changing anything on the script. So if you change something on the X axis, like the category that you are using to calculate a value, that value is going to adjust to those modifications within the visualization. Let's take a look of an example. This is going to be the scenario. We have two projects, project A and project B. They both have an initial investment of $100,000. A series of five investments of $25,000, it's happening for project A. A series of five investments of $20,000 is happening for project B, plus an additional payment of $25,000. We want to compare which project is better, and for that we're going to use NPV. If we do some research, NPV in R, for example, we will have multiple outputs. In this specific case, we'll use the FinCal package that has multiple functions, including NPV. The first step is to ensure that you have this package installed. Just go to Spotfire and under the third tools, package management, be sure that that package is in the installed package list. If it is not, just look for it and click on install. Exploring the package is giving us details on how to use the NPV function. The NPV receives two arguments, argument R, which is going to be the discount rate, and argument CF, which is going to be the cash flow, where the first cash flow is the initial outlay. So let's ensure that we do have the data that we need. Argument one is going to be the discount rate, which in this case comes from a property that is called discount rate and has an initial value. Second is this cash flow where the first value is the initial outlay. Now that we have what we need, we can call that function in a bar chart, for example, to visualize the NPV for project A. So we need to use a custom expression. In this custom expression, the first thing will be to ensure we're gonna use the new aggregated functions. Their aggregating functions that is gonna be a real. As soon as we click on this, Spotfire is gonna give us the syntax that we need. Everything within the quotes is gonna represent the R syntax. For our specific example, the output is going to be the NPV between input 1 and input 2. And now, after the comma, we just need to specify which argument is input 1 and input 2. Input 1, as we know, it's the discount rate. So in this specific case, our discount rate comes from this property, so I'm going to insert it as a value. The second argument, it's going to be my cash flow. In this specific case, I have the cash flow as a column, so I can just insert it, and we have the arguments. 
Now, just keep in mind that this is a percentage, so we will have to account for this number as a percentage. And number two, we're going to work with a monthly discount rate, so we're going to account for those 12 months as well. This number, therefore, has to be divided by 100 and by 12, which is this 1200 here. And the second thing that I just added is ensure that the library thing count is being called with the expression. Once the expression looks like this, just click OK and we will see the label that is coming from that bar. So just click on label. Let's go to format and let's ensure that we have a decent number looking here okay now let's create the same for project number b i'm just going to duplicate this visualization and change the table to be the project b now i have two npv values npv for project a npv for project two or b and we can tell that we have a better npv on project a therefore this is going to be our preference now in a spot fire Remember, we can use this property to input different rates. So every time that we play this as an input, those numbers are going to change and everything is going to adjust. In addition to this, we can now aggregate that tear function. So what this means, and to show a little bit of the power of that, we are going to compare project A and B within the same bar chart visualization. So on my custom expression, I do have exactly the same formula that we just created, but the difference is that A and B are now two different categories. So the function is aggregating that number based on the categories that I'm using on my axis, and I don't have to change anything on the script. If I remove that aggregation, for example, here, now I don't have project A and B, now I just have one number that is representing all the vector that I have there without considering any category. But the beauty of this aggregation function is that I can aggregate using any of my categories from the data panel, in this case, for example, project. Drag and drop on your x-axis and see how the two numbers are different and each one is representing the NPV value for each of the pro projects here. Now, in addition to this, you can create a function as an expression function that you can call from the library. So go ahead and click new. In this case, I'm going to edit to show you what I did. And it's just a creation of an aggregation function that is giving a result, in this case, is a real. I'm going to classify that as a statistical function. I am adding the description. In the description, I added the formula that I use on the custom expression. And here, I can just use the very simple syntax that R has for me to create this expression as part of the library. In other words, now that it's part of it, I created it, now I can call it. So instead of using this long formula, I can just simply say that my custom expression is the NPV, where the NPV is the expression I just created. So now I can just call it and say which ones are my two input arguments, and that's it. So click OK. And I can share that with anybody in my team and they can evaluate their own MPVs for their own projects. I hope this has been useful. I see you in the next video.